YouTuber and today's video is regarding HMI HMI slide HMI slide window window okay create a project You can check out my last videos about analog sensor so there are three part of part of analog sensor how it works uh, programming and HMI HMI representation and in this video we are going to learn about HMI slide window how it operate uh, in real time and we are going to simulate that so stay tuned it take time don't know why it is taking time nowadays so add new device go to add add new device uh, HMI HMI, you know the full form HMI, human machine interference. Okay, uh, there are four four type of HMI slides right now. They are controllers, HMI, and PC system. In PC system, we have a uh, SCADA system. So in HMI, there are basic panel, comfort panel, mobile panel, and HMI C plus. So we are going to use HMI comfort panel 12 inches display in com TP1200 comfort panel. Okay, uh, you will get the article number, version, version, and description of uh, how many port of uh, Ethernet, Modbus, or uh, which protocol interference is suitable for this HMI. Okay, so we selected TP1200. In this video we only use HMI we are, we are not going to select any PLC we use only internal tag of HMI so we don't need a controller right now if you if you like my video please subscribe and share because it motivate me and and if you have any issue related to my videos you can comment down below I will focus on that so there uh, whenever you select a HMI there are connection screen layout alarm screen alarm windows screens system screens and buttons which if we uh, go by one by means one by one so we can browse our window then next there is a logo all in we just do the finish okay it will set up all the works the default settings we can say This is the root scheme. This is the root scheme. We are going to add one more new screen. Four screen. Total four screen we are going to add. Okay. And I'm going to rename it. Start. Start. We can say start only then second window will be setting third window will be alarm alarms and fourth will be diagnostic 
diagnostics we can say diagnostics or we can say applications applications okay these are the four screen we needed and this root root screen we can delete that okay now we have only four screens uh go to screen management here slide in screen uh means which side of screen we need to slide uh there are four slide screens we can use in one program one is bottom one is left right and top so here we going to use uh left one okay so we need it in a small space we can minimize it and maximize it uh all that in okay go to the property and layer no, we don't need layer okay we need this function to use to minimize and means minimize this this okay hmm. ah, now you can see you can put it like a uh, 200 okay this much is enough for us to use the tab button on on it so uh, okay so oh, one more thing we need to use ah we need a colorful i don't like uh, the color Animals. Yes, this one looks better. Okay. It's great. Now, you can see the screen. Yes. Now we use four button here. Buttons. Uh, not in the face. here you see this one is a uh, io field where you put a uh, integer value a real value float value whatever you want this is the button we are going to use here four buttons okay this one is first button and first button is start okay go to the property go to the property go to the we don't need animation we need to fill with color we need to change the color so go to appearance in appearance a solid one and shake out the color you want uh i'm going to use uh, not the green one uh we use red one okay keep it red one and the text text format go to text format and uh design and not in the design it is in yes preference only go we'll select text okay now it will look better i think so and copy and paste drag down 
application no second one is setting so setting then we need uh, third one alarms 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 okay and fourth one it's application application okay so okay, spelling mistake is there application okay now Now they are aligned in one manner. So I know the the color are not very good to eye, but it's okay. Uh, now go to properties. My shortcut shortcut key are not operating. So. On a click, uh, we have to activate the screen. Activate screen. Screen name. We have four screen. We need to select start screen. So this one is for start screen. Then second one, go to the property again. On a click, activate screen screen name call setting is say just select it okay the third one is alarm screen okay. activate screen no uh, in activate screen alarm and go to the application on application application um, application go to the property again go to the events on event on a click activate a screen called applications so 50% work has been done here that go to the home page and here is the icon of home page so go to the property in the property in events here is a drag down arrow you can see on the screens uh, we have four screens and one of the screen we have selected uh, show slide screen the screen name is be using is left one so select the left one and on toggle or on we can keep it toggle it's better why oh, it is not taking let me check We need to add one, one more button here. Uh, just copy this button and paste it over here. Close. Closing the closing the slide window. Just enter. Uh, go to the property. The property events. Uh, the click. So a delete curve, the click one is still deleted and add on release 
options like this here the screen colored left one and here not toggle off mode is off now we are going to simulate that go to here first con compile then go for online this is our start the screen go to the slider slider okay then go to the slider then go to the setting this is the setting window then go to again alarm window this is the alarm window to identify alarm we have right written down alarm this is the application window and once you open we can close this slide window by this and also it is a toggle button here so now you have clear three things here one is sliding you can create the uh, menu bar here and the closing button what are the properties we use the sliding sliding window in here i know the video is little bit longer but it is worth to watch thanks for watching